Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on what is end to end encryption by IntelliPad. In this session you will learn all about what is end to end encryption and all its properties. So without further wait let's start the session. But before we begin the session make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello and welcome to this video by IntelliPad. In this video, I will be talking about end-to-end -end encryption. Now let's take a look at the agenda. We have firstly, what is the meaning of encryption? The rise of end-to-end -end encryption. What is end-to-end -end encryption? Then how does it work? And can the system be hacked? After which we will see what is brute force attack. Then we move on to the importance and advantages of end-to-end -end encryption. With that, let's move on to our first agenda. That is the meaning of encryption. So encryption is a technique for which encrypting data so that only authorized parties may decipher it. It is the process of transforming human readable plain text to incomprehensible text, also known as ciphertext, in technical terms. Encryption necessitates the employment of a cryptographic key, which is a set of mathematical values agreed upon both the sender and receiver of an encrypted message. Although encrypted data appears to be random, encryption follows a logical, predictable pattern allowing a person that gets the encrypted data and has the correct key to decrypt encrypt it and return it to plain text. True secure encryption will employ keys that are sufficiently complicated that a third party will be unlikely to decipher or break the cipher text using brute force, that is, guessing the key. When data is kept, it can be encrypted at rest, but it can also be encrypted in transit when it is being sent somewhere. Now let's move on to our next agenda, that is, the rise of end-to-end -end encryption. The vulnerability of social media platforms like Facebook, and messaging applications like chat has prompted the use of end-to-end -end encrypted services to protect communications in recent years. End-to-end -end encryption is being used by platforms such as WhatsApp, Signal, etc. to protect user data flows. But hardly anyone is aware of what is end-to-end -end encryption exactly and how does it work? What makes it different from other types of data security? And how does end-to-end -end encryption assure data security? In this video, I will try to explain all that. With that, we have our next agenda. That is, what is end-to-end -end encryption? End-to-end -end encryption is the gold standard for communication security. Only the sender and the intended recipient or recipients and no one else has access to the data in an end-to-end -end encrypted system. The encrypted data on the server is inaccessible to both hackers and undesirable third party. Now let's see how does it work. Encryption takes place at the device level in genuine end-to-end -end encryption. Messages and files are encrypted before they leave the phone or computer and they are not deciphered or decrypted until they arrive their destination. Private keys are saved on the device of each individual user, making it way far more difficult to access that person's data. The generation of public-private key pair ensures the security of end-to-end -end encryption this method, also known as asymmetric cryptography, encrypts and decrypts the message using distinct cryptographic keys. Public keys are widely distributed and are used to encrypt or lock messages. Only the owner has access to the private keys which are needed to unlock or decrypt the message. With that, let's see, can the system be hacked? So security professionals frequently point out a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. The weakest elements of your system will be targeted by hackers. Because data is more susceptible when it is stored on a server, hackers concentrate their efforts on gaining access to servers. However, when End-to-end -end encryption is used, the data saved on the server is also encrypted. Even a hacker gained access to the server, they would just receive gibberish. With that, let's see what is brute force attack. So a brute force attack occurs when an attacker who does not know the decryption key tries millions or billions of guesses to figure out the key. Because contemporary computers make brute force attacks much faster, encryption must be incredibly strong and sophisticated. Most modern encryption systems, when combined with high-quality passwords, are resistant to brute force assaults. Yet, as computers become more powerful, they may become more vulnerable to such attacks in the future. Brute force attacks can still be used against weak passwords. Now let's take a look at the importance of end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption is vital because it ensures that users and recipients have secure access to the emails and files from the time the data is sent until the time it is received. It also ensures that no one else can view 
review the communications that are sent and received. Because the providers possess copies of the decryption keys, services like Gmail, Yahoo and Microsoft can access the content of users' data on their servers. The system providers, on the other hand, never have access to the decryption keys in well-designed end-to-end encrypted systems. Now, let's take a look at the advantages. So, the first advantage that we have here is privacy. Encryption ensures that only the intended recipient or the rightful data owner may read messages or data at rest. This protects sensitive data from being intercepted and read by attackers, ad networks, internet service providers, and in some situations, government. Next, we have security. Whether the data is in transit or at rest, encryption helps prevent data breaches. The data on a corporate device that has been lost or stolen and whose hard disk has been appropriately encrypted will remain secure. Encrypted communications, on the other hand, allow communicative parties to transmit sensitive material without it being leaked. Next, we'll see data integrity. Encryption also aids in the prevention of, of harmful activities such as on-path attack. When data is sent over the internet, encryption, together with additional integrity safeguards, ensures that the data is received by the recipient has not been tampered with along the way. Next up, we have authentication. Public key encryption can be used to prove that the owner of a website, the private key mentioned in the websites, TLS certificate, among other things. This ensures that users are linked to the correct website. Lastly, we'll have regulations. Many industry and government standards require organizations that handle user data to keep the data encrypted for all of these reasons. And that is it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cybersecurity, then IntelliPath has a post-graduation certification in cybersecurity and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts.